to do one of these problems. Now, the next thing that we went over with this, and the reason why I'm going through it um, again in, in the modeling section is because we didn't cover anything. Well, what happens when it's multiplied by 2? Where did the fractions come from? And so forth and so on. So the first thing, before even wanting to use the one-to-one -one property, the first thing you guys always want to do is isolate the exponent. So right now, you guys can see that my exponent, my exponent is 1 third raised to the 2x. Right? That's the exponent. Right now, my exponent is being multiplied by 2. So the first thing I want to do is undo multiplying by 2. So I divide by 2 on both sides. Now I have 1 third raised to the 2x equals 9. Again, we've got to use our 1 to 1 property, right? That's what we always want to look for because it's pretty simple. If you have the same bases of exponents, the powers equal each other. But the problem comes in is we have a fraction. So how do we get rid of fractions? So I always look into, whenever I have fractions, I always like to get rid of the fractions. This goes back to day one when we were learning how to solve equations. Get rid of the fractions. And this rule comes from the rules of exponents, actually. Um, Gavin, what we learned is if you have x to the negative power, we could rewrite that as the denominator with the positive power. In the same fact, if I had x to the negative power in the denominator, if I rewrote that in the numerator, I could rewrite it as the positive power. And what's also important about this is if I just have 1 over x to the n, and I wanted to rewrite that as without a fraction, then I would just use a negative exponent. What do you get a negative from? I'm just, these are rules of exponents that we've already gone over. So what I'm trying to say to you guys, if I want to rewrite this in the numerator, I'm going to have to use a negative exponent or a negative power. So therefore, I rewrite this as 3 to the negative first to the 2x equals 9. Could you multiply 1 by its reciprocal and have 1 to the 2x power? Oh, I see. You multiply 9. No, you have to. The only way to rewrite this, you can't multiply it by its reciprocal because it's raised to a power. So you just have to reorder the 1 third as 3 to the negative first. Now, I have 3 and 9. Can I rewrite these as having the same power? Yeah. yeah what could I re how could I rewrite 9 to have a base 3? Three? 3, three, 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 three squared. Three, three, three. Now I have 3 to the negative 2x equals 3 squared. Emilio, are you looking at here? Therefore, then I go and divide by negative 2 x equals negative 1.